Hello everyone, so today I'm coming at you with a painting video because I do paint, I just never post this kind of content on YouTube, so I thought I'd try it out today. So I started out by researching, I usually like find inspo on Instagram or whatever to find an image I like, but this one I found on Tumblr. I couldn't find the original creator, but yeah, that was a photo set. Um, and then I usually start by sketching out the photo either on my iPad with Procreate or I sketch it out. Um, just on regular paper. So here are the materials I use to paint. So I have my notebook, my paints, which I'll get into specifics later, uh, my pencil and eraser, some brushes. I only use three. These are the sizes of them. And then I have a cup of water that I um, use to dilute my paints. And a little pro tip. I have a spray that I keep water in just to keep my palette wet at all times. And these are the paints that I use. So I have black, white, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, and then some red, some magenta, some orangey yellow, and you're set. So this is my palette by the time I was done. I am using gessos, by the way. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I mix a lot of my own colors, which I always love to do. So let's get started into the painting process. So I start by sketching out my image and then I go in with the first layer, which was the sky. So I start out with the blue and white and I blend the white upwards. So the blue's not like too intense. And then the wine bottle I created by mixing in a little bit of all these different colors, the red, yellow, green, blue, and black kind of give me that like brownie dark green like wine bottle color that i'm kind of looking for and you just you just add more black as you go um just create your desired effect and then here obviously that's a black and white gradient and then to create the wine cup you get white black a lot of white by the way lots of white and then black mostly on the outer parts of the cup and then on the like the circle part of the cup itself you want to have a gradient of blue red and then white in the middle to kind of mimic the sky the reflection of the sky in the cup so for my wine base it's mostly just white mixed with a little bit of magenta and black and some water to keep it very flowy because I do go back in and intensify it with a kind of a mix of black and magenta, but it's mostly just black. I don't really use magenta where I put the blacks because, I mean, they don't really show up. But I do use a little bit of watered down red and magenta where like there's air bubbles in the wine. So as you can see, I'm mixing it in with a little bit of white to give it a little pop of color. So once I have all those base colors mixed and blended, I can go ahead and add all my blacks to like the sides of the wine bottle, the sides of the cup, and the wine itself. And then my favorite part, adding highlights to the image. So with this, it's just adding little tiny dainty touches to where the light is hitting the image, and that pretty much completes the painting. So here's a replay of the video without any interruptions. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was definitely a lot of fun to create this. It was definitely a last minute thing. I didn't even think about filming it until I was sitting down painting. And you know, since I have so much time right now with quarantine, I was like, why not film it? I've always wanted to film a painting video and today was a day. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe if you already haven't. Take care of yourselves, and here's one last final reveal.